Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Charlie. I'm a senior technician here at Diamond Multimedia. And in this install video, we're going to cover several products, all of them from our BVU lineup. Now, we're going to go ahead and cover the BVU 195, 165, 3500, and 3500H, as well as our WPC TV Pro and the DS3900 Ultra Dock install here. Now keep in mind that if you want video and audio on your on your other monitor, you'll you'll want to go ahead and pick up the BVU 3500H, the WPC TV Pro, and the DS3900. Be sure that with the DS3900, you're plugged into the HDMI port because that is the only way that these units will go ahead and transfer video and audio. Uh, the BVU 195, 165, and 3500 will do only video, okay? So let's get started now, shall we? With the BVUs, uh, as well as several other devices, they all come with install disks. Now in case if you've misplaced your install disk, your computer doesn't come with a DVD drive, or you wanna go ahead and just get the most up-to-date driver, what you'll want to do is go to displaylink.com, okay? Once you're here, simply click on support, And whether you're using a Mac or a Windows PC, you'd go ahead and click on click on the proper software link here. Since this is a Windows 8 PC, we'll click on Windows software. What you'll want to do at this point is download the DisplayLink USB graphics software for Windows. However, if you're using Windows XP and Vista, this version, the 7.6 M2, that is the last driver that will support Windows XP and Vista. Anything beyond it will be for 7 and 8 and 10 once 10 is released to the public. Okay, so just go ahead and click on the display link USB graphics software for Windows. Uh, once you go through the license agreement, select agree and that's going to start the download. Okay, so now that you've gone ahead and downloaded the drivers to your computer, you can go ahead and go to your downloads, and right there is our file. So we're going to go ahead and start the install here. Now some of you might have your user access control on, and it's going to ask you if you want to install the display link drivers. So just go ahead and select yes, and it'll go through the install as it's doing, uh, as you can see right now. Okay, so now that the software is installed, the software is going to go ahead and bring up this screen resolution window. In this window, you can adjust the, the two monitors any way you like. Uh, you can go ahead and adjust the resolution. Now, both of, these that both of these monitors that we're using here are 1920 by 1080, so we're going to leave the resolution alone. However, keep in mind that if you're using different monitors, you might need to adjust the resolution to match them if you have them set under what's called duplicate mode. Under duplicate mode, it's going to give you the same image on both screens, which you can adjust here by where it says multiple displays by clicking the drop down. If you want to extend the screen, meaning it's just a desktop background and you want to work off one screen, and let's say you want to watch a movie or have another program open on the other screen, you want to, ex you want to select extend these displays. And then we ha have the options here to show desktop only on one, show desktop only on two. Keep in mind that whenever you select one of these, the other monitor will go out. And then to get video back, you'd have to come back to the screen resolution window, which you can get to by right clicking on your desktop and I'll say screen resolution. Now this is with only Windows 7 and 8. Okay, so now that we've gone through these settings, you should be all set to go. Now, however, 
if you've purchased the BVU 3500H, the WPC TV Pro, or the DS3900, and you're using HDMI, and you want the audio to come out of your TV or, or monitor, just simply right-click your speaker icon, select Playback Devices, and since I don't have an HDMI monitor hooked up at the moment, it's not showing up, but here you'll see a uh, Display Link USB Audio Device. All you would have to do would be select it and click on Set Default, and the audio would come out of that would come out of that screen. If you're using the WPC TV Pro, you would have listed down here a Samsung USB Audio Device. Just clicking on that and selecting Set Default will go ahead and get you audio out of your WPC TV Pro instead of your computer speakers. Okay, and that's it. That's the install for the BVU for the BVU series as well as the WPC TV Pro and the DS3900. If you have any questions or if you have any problems or you'd like to get a hold of us, you can always go to our website which is diamondmm.com and click on Diamond Support and click click on Contact Diamond and open a new ticket and I or one of my other technicians we'll be able to go ahead and uh, get back to you. Now, if you have any problems or if you want to go ahead and review this, this video or if you have any of other, our other products that you have any issue with, you can always come to our Diamond Knowledge Base. And right here we have all of our facts, videos, and troubleshooting tips listed as well. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching and enjoy.